Um, I've decided as far as the review stuff, as far as the test goes, the only stuff you'll be responsible for from advanced functions are algebra. So like a question like this, we can factor everything. You'll totally be responsible for factoring a cubic or a quartet or something big like that. So you do have to factor this one. Uh, secondly, um, you and someone else, was it Noah, was mentioning that they found shortcuts to get to and make this stuff faster. The whole purpose of chapter one is to get your algebra skills to be awesome. Okay, that, because as we get further in this course, you need good algebra skills. So it'll say things in your assignment like use first principles. That's that limit statement use first principles. So you have to do this first assignment, you know, completely and fully, you know what I mean, for your for your marks. Okay. If you don't know the shortcut, that's okay. Uh, if you do know the shortcut, you can use that to check your work as long as they're safe. But I need you guys to get your algebra skills. Strong, that's how we spell the time for fun, but we always don't lose. Thank you. Okay, um, let's get started on this one. Now, this one will be uh, something you can be responsible for on your um, test. I don't know if there's one quite like it on your assignment. It was big like this. I think one that was, there was this one for sure could be on your test. Um, now, I'm going to embarrass Derek if you don't mind in front of the whole class. First of all, Derek, thank you for doing the clock. But in return, I'm going to embarrass you. When you would evaluate at x equals 3, what would you get for an answer here, hopefully? Um, for an answer for this? Yeah. I hope you got 0 over 0. Oh, yeah, if you sum at 3. Yeah, you get 0 over 0. So, then Derek said to me, and this is for everyone, I'm pointing out to Derek so you'll remember, but also for everyone else. He was struggling away trying to find a factor for this. What instantly is going to be a factor for this? 3. 3. Okay. Okay, so just, yeah, because as soon as you get a zero, you know for sure that's going to be the factors there on the work. So instantly we know, and I'm going to do these separately, I'm going to call that a, sorry, Derek, you're an excellent for human being, okay, but I had to just mention that. Um, part A, we know that f of 3 equals zero. Okay, so, um, so when I find out that f of 3 equals zero, what does that tell me is going to be a factor for the zero here? What's going, to, what's going to be a factor? Like what's going to be oh, a factor? Uh, the numerator is going to be x minus 3, and then bracket 2x plus 3, bracket x minus 2. Okay, I'm going to write that in a sec. Oh. And I trust you, though. Okay. So x minus 3 is going to, that's all I want right now. Sorry. You're way too far out of me. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, I'm going to pick on James, if you don't mind. James, because I respect you a great deal, but also because you like to do synthetic division, and I don't. So can you tell me what to write, please, for synthetic division? Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. What goes here? Uh, zero and negative. I'm going to write it to you there. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How do I know that um, James has done this correctly? Other than the fact that he's a cannibal and his math is excellent as a result. Yes. Is zero as a remainder? I hope that doesn't embarrass you too much, by the way. But your math is excellent because you're a cannibal. It's good genetics you have there for math. Okay, so what this means is that my numerator is x minus 3. 2x squared minus x minus 6 is what that numerator turns into. Does everyone sort of follow what I did? Now you can factor again if you like algebra. You do not need to though. But do you want us to factor again? Factor factoring? We may as well. Okay. All right, I'm going to pick on um, Nathan. What's the M and the A, please, for that, this right hand bracket? The bracket is 12 and negative 12. Yeah. Good. What are those two numbers, please? Too much stress is okay. No, it's okay. Too much stress is going on. What's how you get 12? Negative 12 and negative 1. Okay. What are, what are the two numbers that are like? What times what? What are the two numbers that are more fun? Oh, yeah. Negative 4 and 3. Negative 4 and 3. Good. So it's going to be x minus 3. 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 6. Just so you know, you will be required to factor using every on your test. You'll also be required to use the quadratic formula, right? 
So um, this is why it's a good thing to distribute this. All right, Austin, since you've <laughs> been here sort of sparingly uh, the last uh, few days here, what's the next step for back and right hand side, please? Uh, you take 2x and the left side of it. Yeah, good. And that leaves x minus 2. Then you take 3 to the right side, and x minus 3. Okay, now how do I know he's factored that properly? Going back to grade 10, well, how does that factor properly? It's the back of the same, so we know it's looking good. Okay, so this is x minus 3, so a ends up being x minus 3, x minus 2, 2x plus 3. Now I'm hopeful that one of those are going to cancel for me. I'm really hopeful. Okay, are we feeling sort of okay about what's happened? So far? All right, Emma, I'm going to pick on you if you don't mind. Letter B I'm going to do, which is going to be 4x squared minus 13x plus 3. You can use all that synthetic division stuff if you want to. I'm hoping that Emma will use an MA here, though, please. What's my MA for this one, please? Good, what are the numbers? Negative 12 and negative 1. All right. So I'll just do this if it's okay. So this is 4x squared, negative 12x, negative x plus 3. And again, 4 and 12 go together nicely. So it's going to be 4x, x minus 3, x minus 1, x minus 3. Now notice what I did is that you don't have to do it like that, but for me it's easier to just put the numerator on there separately, do all my left work and bring them together, just because there's way too much going on in this question. Do most people follow Tana's what I just did through all this stuff? Yeah? And everyone else I just pick on you because I don't like your hair pattern, but I'm going to use my knees right now. Really yeah. um, so I'll bring this all together. This is equal to limb. X approaches 3, um, x minus 3, x minus 2, 2x plus 3, all over x minus 3, or x minus 1. All right, Teresa, when we look at this question, why are you happy at this moment? Very good. So this one is equal to limit. As x approaches 3, x minus 2, 2x plus 3 all over 4x minus 1. If you had the intuition to realize that probably x minus 3 was going to cancel, you technically didn't need to do this factor in here. Okay, like then if we did it because I wanted to practice the factoring, but you didn't necessarily need to for that question. Okay? All right. Cool. I have one step left. What's my last step here, please? Just freezing, that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Chris, what's my last step? Uh, 73. Yeah, 73. So it's going to be bracket 3 minus 2. Okay, so everywhere I've seen an axiom, it's going to stop at 3. That turns into 1 times, oh boy, 9, all over 11. It's 9 over 11. That was done in my head. Can someone confirm that for me? Yeah. Huh? All right. Now, the one, we'll do one like this on your test. Something like that. It's like a cubic or something like that to factor. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. Okay, so that's probably the only thing that's from advanced functions you're going to need. There's no graph or anything like that. That's like graph if you're going to be having numbers and stuff like that. Okay? All right, I have two examples I want to do today. And thanks again to Derek for fixing this. This should be the right time now. Um, so, whoops. Mr. Murphy, how are you? I'm good. Good. Check my picture, please. No problem. Okay. Um, so, I, no problem. Uh, so, I'm going to just do work two examples today, then you can have the rest of the time to do. 
um, your assignment, okay, if you want to. So here we go, example one. He's going to say. This, this would be, okay, if you want to, I hope that this is going to be difficult questions. It's still part of derivatives? Yeah. Sample one is going to say, find the equation um, to the tangent of f of x equals 3 over x and x equals 2. Okay, now this one doesn't look super difficult. And once you've seen it, it won't be. But this is one I haven't tackled that was finding the equation of things. So I wanted to put it on there. Okay? So it says find the equation of the tangent. Okay, now this is going all the way back to grade 9 when you get the equation of a line. Back from grade 9, it's only the grade loops since you love grade 9 so much. What are the two things you need from the equation of a line? Remember back to grade 9? Slope. Slope is good. How do we get the slope? Right? So that's around good, but even more importantly, we need the calculus. In calculus, we don't use rise or run. What are we using calculus to get the slope? Close. Good. We can use A and H, yes. I was just hoping somebody would tell me this, though. That is, you could use that. But that'll work as well too. Okay. Now A and H would work though said that average rate of change is long because there's only two points. Tangent is just one point. Okay, so H would be zero. Okay, so the A and H will definitely work as well too. I'm gonna to do F final two since we're in derivative mode right now. Okay. So I'm gonna pause the video. I would like you guys to find for me right now F prime of X. And I'm confident in all of your math skills. I'm gonna write out the equation for you. Limit H approaches zero. F of X plus H minus f of x all over h. So take, I'm going to give you three minutes to find that derivative for me, please. And then we'll do the end of the question. Okay. What's that? Are you okay? Sorry? Am I writing something wrong? No, 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 I just, we're consistent. I keep writing down a instead of x. A is okay. And again, if you do that, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to penalize you for being, like, remember even yesterday I did s prime of t, and then I used x's all the way through the question, right? So um, as long as you're, consistent, like, you know what I mean, then that's fine.